tendency is all your weight comes to the outside of the foot. So as soon as you go into stall, I'm already falling away. I've already lost it before I even try it. So focus on good foundation. I'm almost curling my toes towards my shin and I might get a pocket between my toes and my shin and the ball's just sitting in here, but I have to have that hard flex. Just start like this, even with your foot on the ground, your heel on the ground. Put it in that pocket there, just with your hand, and just stay there and just flex. Just try to keep it there as long as you can. Okay, then when you get comfortable, you can come off the ground like this. And then next step is actually moving the ball and stalling. You can start with a bounce and a stall. and down the leg and then I was doing kind of like a heel pop rolling it up my leg and then popping it with the heel roll up the leg as you get high you kind of lean out of it a little jump and then I'm popping it with the heel boom of my other foot to bring the ball up together not too hard if you're too hard let's see if you're too hard it's, it's gonna pop out okay so it's like a subtle it's like a soft a soft absorption and you can come out of it in several different ways Especially like if you're a young player or you don't have any muscle definition in your back, you're really gonna have to overemphasize the squeeze of the shoulder blades because I'm making a pocket in here and in here I'm making a pocket, but I'm keeping it in that pocket there. Back of the neck, flexing, flexing the head back a bit. The head's not straight like this, it's flexed back, shoulder blades. Or back like that. They don't actually face uh, vertical enough, even when they're doing like basic headers. If you're struggling with this skill, you're probably going forward too much or backwards too much. You have to find that proper uh, angle of the neck so you're straight up to the sky. And then it's all about the little adjustments. As the ball moves, the ball's not going to stay perfectly still. Okay, but I'm always adjusting. As I feel the ball, I feel it running away. So I try to move with it and stay underneath it. But again, just start with the hands. Okay, so I'm just hitting the ball with the heel and on top of that. Most players will struggle with this because it's the flex of the foot and the timing and they're not actually hitting here, I'm basically hitting on like the hard part of my boot, like this part, the very back of the boot, not the, not the inside, not the, definitely not the studs. When it's time to do the trick, 
if this touch right here isn't good, isn't where you want to go, then you're always going to struggle because you're going to have to adjust your body positioning. So really focus, when you're about to do that skill, really focus on this touch, the touch before the skill. Put it exactly where you want, just with a little more focus, a little more of a delicate touch. Okay, but I'm just hitting it there, reaching around, hitting it with that sole. that I actually set it with around with this one and I'm jumping in the air. understand it's it's two motions in one a lot of players when they start out they're kicking the ball up just like a juggling touch they're kicking it up and then I'm kicking it and then I'm trying to put my foot around it's never gonna happen you have to do it in one motion so I'm actually the touch is more like this it's not a normal juggle touch At the same time I'm picking up and I'm already starting my circle in that motion. Same time. Okay, so it's a touch and a circle at the same time. And then I just get back to it before the ball hits the ground. <laughs> 